What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can tell the title of the video, this is going to be my spoiler review on Halloween Ends. Now, I did see this, at the time of this being uploaded, I did see um, Halloween Ends on October 14th. This may get uploaded later on in the night or tomorrow morning. But anyway, I did see Halloween Ends. Um... This film was a bit of a bait and switch. Bit of a bait and switch. So, if you guys don't know, this is the third film in David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy. You had Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, this is Halloween Ends. So, pretty much, we start off the beginning of the movie with a new character. Is it Corey Lowenthal? I think it's Corey. Anyway, pretty much we find out that he's babysitting, um, you know, a bit of a callback to what um, Jamie Lee Curtis's character Laurie was doing in the first film. Um, but yeah, pretty much, long story short, he ends up babysitting this child. This child's cool at first. I liked the thing, Easter egg, that was in there. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this kid ends up um, this kid ends up fucking around, basically, while um, Corey's on babysitting Dewey. So... Um, you know, things are going on in the background, he hears noises, so he goes upstairs to investigate. The kid pushes Corey into this, like, closet thing. Won't open the door, won't open the door. Um, so pretty much Corey, boom, kicks the door, hits the kid on the head, the kid falls, like, three floors. Yeah, yeah, it's out of there. Luckily, I say luckily, unfortunately, the parents come through the door... Obviously, they accuse him of killing their child. So, that gives us a bit of an origin, which we should have kind of had a hint for about Corey, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But there, then we go to... Um, this film takes place four years after Halloween Kills. Um, pretty much it's to do with the pandemic, basically. So, they kind of basically had to, you know, bring the film um, away. Because... If you watch Halloween 2018, that film and Halloween Kills pretty much are in the same night. And this one was meant to be in the same night. I feel like if you'd have got rid of some of the mob stuff in the hospital, you could have squeezed the end of this film in in the in Halloween Kills. Not gonna lie, that's just my opinion. Now, I want to start off by saying I liked this film, but I'm a bit like, huh, okay. I liked that, but it was very different to what people thought. I could understand why people are going to like this film. I can understand why people are going to be pissed off and people are going to hate this film. So, I'm a bit on the fence. Anyway, pretty much we find out that Laurie has pretty much, um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode. Pretty much we find out that she, you know, she thinks Michael's gone because he, he hasn't come back for the last four Halloweens. So, you know, she pretty much thinks he's gone. She's writing her memoirs which the police officer friend told her to do. You know, she's a lot more happy now. You know, she bought a house, which is kind of cool. Um, we get the... I say stepdaughter, sorry. The granddaughter. Um, she's doing her thing. She works at, like, a doctor's um, place now. Um, other than that, yeah, literally, that, 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 that's it. And then... So, pretty much, we end up finding out that, um, you know, Corey... Nobody in the town likes him, or they're always looking funny because obviously they think he killed that child. He's getting harassed by some high schoolers. Um, they're thinking like a creep, and obviously they know the story of him hurting that child. So obviously they're giving a bit of shit. You know, he cuts his hand. Laurie sees him. Laurie takes him to the doctor's office on purpose to try and introduce him to the um, granddaughter. Long story short, because there's a lot, there's a lot of that in there. But yeah, pretty much we end up finding out that they click. You know whatever whatever bit of a romance in there it's kind of cool kind of uh, you know kind of cool to see something um bit of a flash 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 forward into the film we find out where michael myers has been hiding now this isn't a spoiler because we pretty much saw this in the trailers to be honest that he's hiding like a um like a sewers basically um under this overpass um Corey ends up getting thrown off this bridge by the hooligans that are, or the high schoolers that are annoying, that are bullying him kind of thing. So he gets thrown off there. Michael drags him in. Um, he meets Michael, stares at Michael because he grabs him in the trailer. He stares right into his face. That moment, I feel like he passed on some of his evil energy. 
Um, so pretty much from then, Corey ends up going through this spiral where he ends up gelling with the granddaughter, Laurie's granddaughter, more. But then he ends up going down this path and she can see it. Laurie can see it as well. She's just like, okay, I see the same look in his eyes that I saw in Michael's eyes. Obviously, the granddaughter thinks, you know, why are you trying to keep us away from each other? I finally want to be happy. Da, 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 da. You're still going on about Michael. I thought you'd changed. but you'd forgotten about him. Obviously, you can't forget about him. So we pretty much get the Corey um, character go on a rampage kind of thing. Really, really cool scene. We do see, um, basically, the stepdaughter of Laurie Strode. Her, she was supposed to be up for a promotion. But this redhead chick in the movie, pretty much you can tell she slept with the doctor to get it because she goes right up to her and says, oh, you know, hard, no hard feelings about the promotion, you know, da, 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 da. I even said it myself. I was like, yeah, she slept with the doctor. She did. She gave him a bit of, she gave him a bit of those cheeks. You know what I mean? In the, she gave him a bit of those cheeks in layman's terms to get the position. So we get a bit of a cool scene where, you know, the doctor takes her back to his house. You know, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna clap some cheeks some more. You know what I mean? So we get a cool scene where we see, um, Corey going after the doctor. Michael steps in. I feel like they tried to make it so it's like a sorcerer and apprentice thing. When Mike ever since Michael touched him, he kind of was like, right, I'm weak from the mob beating me up in the town. I hadn't feel mob beating me up in the town. I'm gonna give my powers to you or my kind of darkness to you, my you know, my kind of power for killing. You go out and do your thing. I felt like they tried to make it so. When Corey was killing people, Michael was getting stronger or he was regaining some kind of powers. Um, so, yeah, pretty much we end up getting a scene where Michael stabs somebody, you know, the iconic Bleh! stab someone to the wall, leave him there. You know, you know what it is. Pretty much call back to the first movie, what um, he did to Jamie Lee Curtis, his friend. Um, again, moving away from that, we end up getting um, more of Corey. We know that um, Laurie Strode knows about him she confronts him says leave my leave my stepdaughter alone or leave my granddaughter alone and yeah pretty much that's it that's it we get the final showdown with laurie's road and michael in the house after she shot um corey um, they do get a bit of an argument between Laurie Strode and the stepdaughter, the step I keep saying stepdaughter, granddaughter, um, because, you know, she's like, why are you trying to take Corey away from me? I'm happy. Uh, we're going to run away. Da, da, da. And then, you know, we get the final thing. Not going to lie. Michael ain't coming back from this one. He ain't coming back from this one. The man was impaled in one hand on the kitchen table. The other hand on the kitchen table. The frigging um, fridge got chucked on him. The man's neck got sliced. Mask got taken off. Like, bro, what? We do get a bit of a cool scene where Michael picks up the mask and he's like, okay, well, I was going to let you take up my mantle, but nah, you ain't worth it, shit. So most of this movie, we don't see Michael for like the first 50 minutes at least. We don't see him at all, which is a bit like, okay, well, it felt like an anthology series. With Michael Myers tacked on, if you know what I mean. Like, this could have just been, you know, any other thing. Um, but yeah, Michael's dead. Um, they strap him to the top of the car. They drag him through um, to this junkyard where Corey's dad works at. Sorry, spoilers again. Corey kills his mom and dad. You know, the, the famous thing that, you know, the mom's too overprotective. The dad was cool. The dad got shot by those bullies that tried to um, bully Corey. I felt bad about the dad. I felt bad about the dad in this movie. The dad was cool. The man gave him a bike when he was running around some little push bike shit. If you didn't know, Corey's dad owned like a junkyard. But anyway, they take Michael Myers to a junkyard, they strap him on this car, and they throw him in like a giant gr metal grinder. And you actually see like his body just... <laughs> and you see the brain, <laughs> like his skull. Michael Myers ain't coming back after this. So David Gordon Green, his three-part trilogy is done. Ugh. They'll always bring Michael Myers back. This is like the third Halloween, the 13th Halloween, sorry. Some people are calling it the unlucky 13th Halloween. But yeah, this is this this is one of those films. Like I can see why people aren't gonna like it. I can see why people will like it because it's different. But from what we got from the 2018 and the um you know the 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 what I call the mob um the, the Halloween mob I call it instead of Halloween kills. 
I can see why people won't like this film. I can really see why people won't like this film. But I thought it was cool. Rating wise, mm, I'll probably give it like an eight. I'll probably give it like an eight. Because I did like the romance element. I thought that was cool. And the fact that Michael had a bit of an apprentice. I thought that was cool. Anyway, I'm not going to drag this on any longer. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did like the video, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I am going to title this a spoiler review. So anyone that watches it, don't expect to be spoiler free. So yeah, I was going to do my spoiler free review and then do my spoiler review on Sunday. Give you guys the weekend to watch it. But ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't think people are going to be going absolutely nuts for spoilers in this film anyway, even though it's a beloved franchise. But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the team. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as we upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay for the vibe And always remember, Halloween is a time for joy, scare your mama month, and it's, it's literally the month for candy. Peace. <laughs>